Hey everyone, happy Monday. It's September 23rd, currently 8.24 a.m. Chicago time and a lovely 64 degrees. Let's get into it. See what the guides, the guides would like for you to be aware of today. You are meant to be together. There's someone that wants to get together with you, feels that you're meant to be together. This person could have a lot of debt, over 200000 in debt and no savings, or they could have quite a bit more. This could be on the macro level. Someone has $200 million in debt. Someone has no access to cash, to funding. Let's see what else. Okay, well, that's way too many, but we do have destitute and depraved. Someone feels like they're losing their mind. It could be because you aren't together with this person. Let's get one more. They are permanently altered by your energetic authority. So there is awareness when it comes to your spiritual gifts. Someone is realizing that you're quite powerful in many different realms, dimensions. There's just something about your energy that always leaves an imprint on the people you come across. That is one of your many gifts. Let's get the archetype deck. They have over 200,000 in debt. Why is this debt here? No savings. Someone's very concerned about their savings. Something had to be depleted quickly. Someone could have had to move some money. This is a father, father figure. The shadow is dictatorial, control, abuse of authority. This could be someone in an authority position. They've been knocked down a few notches. The light attribute here is talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit. We do have this. They are permanently altered by your energetic authority. So this is... An energy of someone who is very talented when it comes to creating and supporting others. Okay, so we'll still put it here with they have over, they have a lot of debt. We'll just say there's a father figure here that has a lot of debt. This could be someone that you uh, were married to. Maybe they ran this debt up without your knowledge. That happens quite often. You are meant to be together. You're meant to be with someone you could feel this way or there's someone else that feels this way about you and you're not quite aware of it but you have a feeling okay queen it's in the reverse so we have father and this queen energy the shadow here is becomes arrogant when authority is challenged controlling and demanding so for some of you this could be an actual mother figure, a maternal figure that is having a very difficult time allowing their child, an adult child, to leave them. There's someone that's controlling and or this is a feminine energy that Jezebel is what's coming to mind, someone that wants to force a father figure into a relationship. So for some of you masculines, you could have a very uh, obsessed feminine energy that is possibly harassing you. And if you're feminine, this could also be the case. There's someone here that is uh, not taking no for an answer, okay? Destitute and depraved. child divine the shadow is an inability to defend oneself against negative forces uh, you could be this divine energy someone who is destitute spiritually speaking is very much fixated on your energy you could have just crossed paths with this person and they've been permanently altered by your energetic authority but not in a good way Okay, this is an interesting card to clarify this destitute and depraved. The light attribute here is innocence, purity, and redemption suggests a special connection with the divine. We know the collective has this special connection. There's interference going on. The readings lately have been quite dark. There is a lot of uh, 
forces that are crashing. So someone's like crashing out. It's like that crash dummy energy. And we're seeing it heavily on the macro level, but it's, it's like tentacles. So there's a crash dummy type of tentacle energy that's just spiraling and touching everything. So let's see, your energy is being utilized to offset the static, something about static. They are permanently altered by your energetic authority. And let me just tell you guys, I had the craziest dream last night. I was, I don't even know where I was, but there was a lot of water and there was this giant gas canister that looked like it had fallen off of a truck. There was this beast in the water. It looked like the body of a bear and it was on this canister trying to get it to shore, which was actually a bridge that I was standing on observing this beast. And when the beast looked up, it was a giant cat face. And then there was a woman next to me and I'm like, let's run this way. And there were a bunch of lockers, but they were small lockers. And I opened one. And then when we looked back, the cat creature thing had come out of the water and went in the opposite direction. But then when I went back to the edge of the bridge, the cat thing was coming back up from the water and they ha it had these large like tentacles on the back of it, almost like something out of an alien movie. But the fur was very thick and brownish orange and it was wet, but you couldn't tell the fur was wet. That's how thick it was. So the locker kind of represented some sort of portal because it was small, but we were going to be able to get through it. So some of you could feel like you're in some sort of obstacle course even. There's obstacles that are being thrown at you deliberately. It's a part of the game. It's a part of the, the next level that you're going into, something like that. All right, let's get back to this card. They are permanently altered by your energetic authority. Yeah, see, I just said destroyer, teacher, and fool is what's coming out. The dream was a destructive force, and it was scary for a little bit, but we didn't fully retreat. Whoever I was with, we, we went back. So there is an energy that tried to destroy you maybe numerous times throughout your life with this queen in reverse and this father figure here. You could have, uh, you could be that scapegoated child that every time you got yourself together, you had a parent that was taking your money, telling you, being too judgmental, misusing their, their maternal, their paternal guidance, misdirecting you. You've had obstacles all your life. Here, the light attribute is that preparation for a new life, releasing the potentially destructive nature of others that's been attached to you here and there and everywhere. So that's this destroyer. You are this destroyer of things, of attachments that you've had to deal with and continue to deal with for some of you. Here we have this teacher the ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, wisdom. You're very wise. This is that energy that was coming through yesterday. You're spiritually wise. You could be a natural teacher, a natural leader. You've got a lot of knowledge. You have excellent communication skills, and you have the experience. You have the experience. The, the shadow here is intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams, and their potential, which I feel is this queen energy here that's in the reverse. This queen could have had an overbearing father. There is a masculine, feminine energy that are kind of lopsided. So you could be dealing with someone that's just even a little bit loopy in their thinking, like you don't understand ever where they're really coming from. So there's, there's a misunderstanding too. And it, it could be something that you just you, you just want to move away from. There's someone that you told no to, and you just want to move away from them. That's for that's for somebody. Here we have the fool. The shadow is using humor to wound rather than liberate. That's this queen energy here in reverse. Denial of your emotional truth. So there's someone that's just not tapped in emotionally speaking. 
Someone could be very withdrawn or wants to just get, like I said, get away. This could be you detaching yourself from maybe family. Let's just see. Why is father here? There's a lot of debt. There's a father that has a lot of debt. No access to cash. They might be in a bit of trouble. Rising star, 77. So there's an energy of a masculine with a lot of debt that could be ascending even, even though the ascending card isn't up here, but with the rising star that's giving me that energy somewhat. This could be someone that's in the entertainment industry that manages a rising star. We'll have to get more, but we do have divine number 7-7. Seven. This could be you. Someone's very interested in coming toward you. They could need some financial assistance. Someone is in need of financial assistance. Okay, here we have healer. So I do feel like this is your energy. We already have this permanently altered by your energetic authority. So there is a father figure that could be observing you. They see that you've made a lot of changes in your life. This could be someone that's attached to a distorted feminine energy that believes you're meant to be together. There is the destitute and depraved. This could be many, many people very intrigued by you wanting to come closer. Someone wants to come closer. This uh, We do have the communication with this teacher and we've got this microphone here microphone here so you could be a public speaker you could be in the public eye healing could be a part of your business practice you could be in the in into nutrition something about nutrition let's get a you could even be a singer let's get a card for this queen in the reverse okay this is landing on destroyer and it's expectation so if someone's expecting something, it might not be good news. We'll keep going. Yeah, mentally and emotionally unstable is at the bottom. So we have permanently altered by your energetic authority, destroyer. Someone's intoxicated with your healing ability. They want to utilize you to perhaps cause damage to others. Someone could be a teacher Someone could be a prominent teacher, professor. They make a huge difference in their community. Someone misuses their gift of gab. Something about the gift of gab. The light is releasing what is potentially destructive expectation. So there could be someone that's doing a lot of work uh, spiritually on themselves to reach a new level to have a new beginning and perhaps they're like it's not happening fast enough something's not happening fast enough for someone hold on here we have they are being seen for who they truly are wicked to the bone so i feel like this is this queen here there's somebody with some authority that is being seen wicked as wicked to the bone so something about bones could be bone magic. Someone could be, uh, I don't know what you call it when you study the bones. I forget the name of that. Queen in the reverse. You are meant to be together. Okay. So we have achievement, conflict, change, and boss. So that's four cards clarifying this queen in reverse who could be this boss making some changes someone could be in the uh, clothing industry there's conflict here number 55 someone wants to bring conflict to your front door someone's quite envious of your achievements someone who's made a lot of changes in their life that have brought them a lot of material gain is being seen as wicked to the bone we also have this 88 so 88, 55, master numbers could be significant. Actually, we've got 77, 88, and 55 out. Okay, so let's just keep going and see what else we get. At the bottom, we do have poverty. So yeah, the overall energy for someone, I feel like, who is an oppositional force to use, having a lot of money problems. A lot. They could have mocked you. You could live 
quite modestly and there's someone in your family or someone that you might have dated or even a friend that got there, got a windfall and then they started mocking you, criticizing you. We'll have to keep going. Child, divine, destitute and depraved. So love spell is in the reverse. So someone's trying to get more of your energy. They feel that you've changed their life. They want more. The love spells aren't working. They're backfiring, causing someone's mind to just be not clear. Here's that hello again. So someone is desperate to have a word with you. They're shy. Someone could be shy. Here we have the courthouse. So someone could be in, in route to some sort of court hearing. They don't expect the court hearing to work in their favor. Someone wants something to be over. There's love spells that's not working. This queen of this queen here, I almost said queen of wands with the red. So someone could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. The love spells didn't work. They backfired. Someone is, is determined to be with you. They don't know how yet they can make this happen. Something's not happening fast. And now someone feels like they're running out of time. Teacher. So you're this worldwide divine teacher. We've got the earth, the globe that's cracked. Different planets. There's a lot of change on this planet most aren't ready for it it doesn't feel like at least observationally speaking there's the loop of corruption that just continues to go round and round and increase in in size and speed so something is increasing in size and speed teacher intuitive kev it's in the reverse so there is some sort of spiritual teacher distorted energy that is uh, using their authority, their power to manipulate and or abuse students with the child divine here. So this could be a teacher that maybe even handles a classroom where the children are gifted and they're misusing their their authority to manipulate the children. This could be some sort of, uh, oh my, this could be some weird sort of cult type of school even that's trying to use divine children's gifts to control different narratives. Whoever this is, they're not tapped into their intuition. All they care about is the money. Wise fool here, or this could have been you. You could have had a teacher early on in life that tried to destroy, with this destroy your hair, your, your intuitive gifts. You've recovered. They could have recently gotten a view of you and they see what you're doing. Someone could have been tasked with depleting your energy early in your life, but it, it didn't work because you're here specifically for a uh, very divine mission. Why is fool here? So there's something about unmasking faith, holding on to your faith. Ice King here, there's an Ice King energy, could be a father, Jezebel. So see, this is what I'm saying, poverty. So this is what these two, this energy here is this father is this ice king so someone could be an air sign and this queen is this jezebel here and you've got the same red so something is not going in these two in their favor they could very well be in the entertainment industry we do have poverty and we have blocked and imprisonment hello again so there's someone that's awaiting or they're in jail already, they want to speak to you, they need money. Uh, 
All right, I think I'm done with this deck. Mature woman, you could be this mature woman or you're dealing with a mature woman. We have priest and animosity coming through followed by priestess, family and lust. So there's a very lustful family. That's how they make their money. Jezebel, warlock energy. Let's get the tarot. Rising star with father, 200,000 in debt. Okay, so we have knight of clubs, four of wands, and the emperor. Happy family, reunion, prosperity, success, rising star, emperor stability, knight of coins. So there's some, there is a father that is, that is doing something wonderful. This is a masculine energy that is getting themselves out of debt. That's for someone. Someone who currently has a lot of debt is getting themselves out of it. It's been a slow process. Stabilizing the home. This could be you coming into some stable energy, structure, fatherhood, father figure. This can go either way, but with these three cards clarifying this rising star and this father, this is someone that's getting themselves out of a dire situation that maybe they didn't think was going to work. There's something that's working for someone. So ah, that's awesome. I like that. Let's just keep going. That's good. But in the background, we have this queen in the reverse. So this could be an attachment to this father figure that's let go of this energy. And because they've made that one change, they're able to correct a situation that at one point felt quite dire. So let's get a card for this queen. Boss, change. Someone's left a job or is leaving a job because of conflict when it comes to achievements. So someone could have, <clears throat> you could have been due a bonus or maybe more vacation days, something like that. And there's some corrupt individual that didn't give you what you what you deserve and <clears throat> it's caused you to make some very necessary changes with your career or job queen <clears throat> strength here is clarifying queen let's get another card so that is that leo energy and seven of swords so, yeah, any way you, you slice it, this queen here is definitely in their shadow and they're strong. They're very strong when it comes to their will and their deception. They could be a master manipulator. So someone is dealing with a master manipulator who's very strategic. Very strategic. They like conflict. They like to cause others misery. That's how they, they survive. But you, you're you strong and you see through this. And you could have already moved away from it. Why is this child divine here with love spell? Queen of clubs. That's at queen of wands. It's landing in the upright on intuitive Kev in the reverse with teacher. So there is a queen feminine energy that's in some sort of teaching position. Three of wands is at the bottom. Moving, self-belief, freedom, success, happy with choices and outcome, hard work, paying off, experiencing life. <clears throat> we'll have to get more on this. There's someone that by all appearances look like they have everything together, but there's deception. Love spell, child divine. Okay, this is landing here with the queen of clubs again, and it is six of swords and the empress. So you could be this empress energy that's moving away from this, this queen of clubs that doesn't have good uh, instinct. Someone doesn't have good instinct. This could be a friend even, someone that you might have spent a lot of time with, but they were careless, reckless, they lack faith. <clears throat> I 
Empress, Six of Swords. So you, you keep moving ahead. You keep leaving behind those that you permanently alter with your energetic authority because that's just how you're being moved right now. So some of you are being moved around and maybe you're, you're not sure why. It has to do with the divine spreading your energy to counter this uh these this the this beast the beast system with the tentacles that's coming out of the waters that Le leviathan it's come out of the water it's out of the water it's on land and so you're being moved around love spell in the reverse everything's landing with this teacher so this is some sort of ten of swords is in the reverse empress again so whatever destructive forces were trying to stop you, they just can't do it. You, you're you gaining your strength. You're gaining momentum. You could have exposed a rotten teacher. You could have had some sort of encounter with one of, if you're a parent, one of your, your, te your, student, your kid's teachers. You're making changes. Some of you could be going back to school to get a teaching degree, something about a teaching degree. Ten of Swords is in the reverse, though. Something's not over. Someone's trying. It might have, they might have been quiet. So you've got some opposition, a frenemy, enemy, whatever. It's been quiet. You've been away from this person for some time. You thought that cycle was over. They were trying to figure out how to come back. This could be a mature woman. They still have a lot of animosity toward you. Someone is holding a lot of animosity towards you. They could feel that you abandoned not just them, but their family. Bliss, they see you happy. They, yeah, bliss is followed by ascension, which is followed by manipulation. So on the macro level, there's a lot of that, that mind game energy coming through where it's just manipulation Whatever doesn't work, something else crops up. So there's a lot of mind games going on right now on the macro and the micro levels. <clears throat> Empress is still at the bottom. Nine of Swords, Two of Clubs, King of Swords. So we're back to this father. So there is a father figure, father, emperor energy that has their heart set on a empress energy an empress that has moved away from them for various reasons they were connected to a, a distorted feminine energy they've moved away from but this whoever this is they're still present they're still around they're still scheming <clears throat> And this could be a former friend of yours, even. Let's see why this father's here. Okay. Reservation. It just landed in the reverse on a, you are meant to be together. So, extravagance, worth, desire. It's in the reverse with this queen of, of whatever she is in the reverse. So there is, this is quite definitive and very specific. There is a masculine energy that wants to be with an empress, okay? They have moved away without a doubt from some sort of money-hungry, attention-seeking, horish, distorted energy. And I will say that because that's just kind of what it feels. When you have the strength with the seven of swords, clarifying a queen that's clearly in their shadow side, then, you know, that's just kind of what it is. But whoever this masculine is, they've made it quite clear to this distorted feminine, and I almost said industry. So there's some sort of industry connection. I'm not sure what kind of industry, but it's got to do with work with the boss here. So this could be, for someone, a work relationship there's a feminine boss there's a masculine that could also be a boss they could work together it could be a lot of different things because we've got emperor here that's boss energy but there is a, a distorted feminine that hasn't let go of this masculine here 
this father here who's getting out of this debt. Reservation, I was clarifying father, but this card was determined to come over here and it came in the reverse. So that's telling me that whoever this father figure is, at one point they were connected to this queen, they were making money together or something like that. And they're like, no, this isn't what I want. I, I'm done with this. And they might have had to take a lot of debt to separate what could have been a business, a home, etc. But they're rebuilding themselves. So this could even have been a, a, a large divorce settlement, something like that. Someone walked away from a lot, went into debt, and now they're building themselves back up. So let's try this again with father. This is landing on Emperor, and it's Withdraw. So whoever this is, this Emperor energy, they are going through an awakening major, and they've they're, they've withdrawn not just from this, this queen in the reverse, but also a lot of conflict, with conflict and change here. So let's keep going. I'm pretty clear about what's going on between these two. Let's see what's up with this child divine and destitute and depraved i guess i should go back to the tarot okay destitute and depraved child divine all right everything's kind of landing over here so the child divine energy just gonna leave it here's the fool it landed diagonal across this expectation and destroyer lack of commitment new beginnings so whatever it is that you've started what you're doing this, I feel like energy here, this queen energy here is trying to vibrate closer to you. Let's try this again. Child divine. Okay. King of swords. Clarifying this child divine, destitute and depraved. So this king of swords, we saw the ice king. This could be a, a new energy. This could be your energy. I'm still not clear about this destitute and depraved. It's a little odd. There's a king of swords. This could be someone in an authority position that is trying to misguide a child, a divine child. Innocence, purity, redemption suggests a special connection with the divine. This king of swords could have a special connection with the divine. And there's a negative force that wants to make this energy destitute, could be accusing this king of swords, could someone's accusing them of being depraved. Love spells in the reverse, whatever spell work this is, it didn't work. It caused some sort of blast, an explosion. There's an explosion here. Eight of swords, page of cups nine of coin huh, queen of swords so in some instances here in in one this is specific also oh my gosh okay so there is a husband wife they have a child they share a child that's very special a divine child something has happened with this child that has the potential to put them in jail in an actual prison and it's got to do with some manipulation on this distorted queen energy here. So the child divine shadow is inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So there is a child energy here because we saw the page of cups that needs some assistance. Some, there could be a child that's been removed from the home of a, a queen in the reverse. Hmm. Let's try this again. Child Divine. Ace of Cups. Love. Getting a new start, beginning. Yeah, here's a conflict. Five of Swords. So this could simply be a King of Swords energy coming into their divine energy. Defending themselves against a lot of uh, conflict. They could have with the withdrawal here and the destitute and depraved and the debt here. So 
yeah, there's some sort of crisscrossing going on. But there's uh, someone that's getting themselves together. A King of Swords energy. Could be this emperor here. Ace of Cups. Coming back into the divine love for themselves even. There's a gift here. Someone sees you as a gift. Love spell still in the reverse though. So there's some something sneaky going on here. Okay. Could be a past person because we've got memories here. So let me go back to this. Blessings. Memories. Real estate. Profession. So you guys see my cards. I don't know how that happened. So this is again specific. This has the I said industry earlier. The industry is this real estate. This does feel like a husband and wife that have a real estate business. Their separation, the separation has to do with a child that could be in a lot of trouble. Real estate profession definitely has to do with real estate for someone. This person could be separate from you. You met them once. You altered their their perception of the world with this teacher here. They had no idea that whatever this is could possibly happen to them. Sent them on a spiral into ascension. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Four of Cups. Yeah. This person, this masculine, didn't realize how dissatisfied they were with their life until they came into contact with you. Yes. Okay. Let's just get this deck. I'm somewhat satisfied <laughs> with this reading, okay? It was it's a little weird. It's it's definitely macro micro energy. A lot coming through. Um yeah. Okay, let's go back to this rising star. You are meant to be together. We already have it out. You are meant to be together. So, there's a father, masculine figure, it sees you as this ascending authority. It's something about your ascension, authority. They know that they're going through an ascension. They want to get close to you. They have a lot of love for you. They had to go through a very hard time. And they currently could still be involved with con with some conflict. They at one point did feel quite defeated with the Five of Swords and the Destitute and Depraved. So again, this could be one or two people or three. Two masculines, a feminine. Yeah, there's a there's yeah. Okay, let me just keep going. You are meant to be together, so we have this energy twice. Now, how you feel about this, I'm not quite sure, but someone certainly feels that the time is near when it comes to uh, what could be just a union or reu reunion. So past person, uh, a future person, let's just say. Okay, so let's see what's going on with, uh, we'll just do all four of these cards here. Boss. underqualified boss so this queen in reverse who's a boss who's being seen as a boss who's embroiled in a lot of conflict because we got five of swords here and conflict here so this is a mother to a child and they've made a mess of something this could be a stepmother whatever they're the boss of they're not qualified at all at all and it's creating more chaos, clones, somebody that's tried to clone you with this love spell. So this queen of whatever the hell in the reverse is very much shadow, underqualified, boss on the uh, macro level. This could be a lot of different things on the macro level that could have to do with children. They are on their way to being destitute and depraved. This does have the energy of uh, mis, 
use of divine child energy for personal gain. So, yeah, I'll just leave that at that. So let's go to this child divine. Okay, bee sting is landing on ten of swords, and we've got this NWO here. So for whoever you are that can just simply go in a grocery store and alter the energy, the energy in that grocery store, in that gas station, wherever you go, you change the energy, and you're giving these uh, large organizations NWO. A sting okay so you're making a huge difference whether you're aware of it or not and that could be something that's becoming apparent to others on a level that you may or may not want so for some of you who are very introverted and don't like a lot of attention your star is rising you're being seen your booty you're being put out there on the the front lines so your life is changing and it could just be changing quicker than you're aware of the energy switching okay let's try this again child divine okay false light codependency there's a child here that has been pulled into a false light. And they're very codependent on a distorted feminine energy. So on the uh on the macro level, we're seeing um we're seeing a lot, and this is picking up on that energy, I'll just say. So there's some mother that is very determined to keep their child codependent, keep them in the false light. This could have been your story as a child that you've come out of, that you've destroyed. So you could have destroyed this narrative that was once that once belonged to you. And now you're where you're supposed to be causing a lot of ruckus with these big organizations. And your energy can't be cloned. Okay, so whoever you are, your energy cannot be cloned. Let's just see what else comes out in general. Black flies. You deserve real soul love and you will have it. So whoever this codependent false light energy is, they know what you deserve. They don't want you to have real soul love. They are being eaten by the black flies. So we've got insect energy here, black flies, shadow, bee, light, sting. So there's light. The false light is being stung. NWO, something about the false light, codependency, codependency, false light, reservations in the reverse. So there's entrapment. There's a lot of entrapment when it comes to the ascension that's going in the opposite direction. So there's been some sort of splitting up, it feels like, of the light. Second opinion options are available, black fly. So someone's been given a dire health diagnosis, but there are second opinions that are available, or this could just be when it comes to a work environment, place, situation, dealing with a boss who's completely underqualified when it comes to making decisions. Ace of Cups. Let's, I, yeah, I definitely want to see... What's going on with this Ace of Cups here? King of Swords, Ace of Cups. Karma is landing here with this beasting NWO abuse. Yeah, this is, there's abuse here. It's got to do with a teacher. So this could be some macro level story that's going to start hitting the news feed. 
trying to clone these divine children, put them in a false light. So this could be some mind pro mind control programming that's going on. Could even be off site because we've got this globe and these planets. So this could be some interplanetary type of di diabolical school even. I don't know why I would say off planet, but it feels off planet. So that could just be the, the energy, off planet energy, bringing these divine children back out of the false light with your energetic strength, something like that. Ugh, goodness, abuse, ice clean, abundance, bondage. So yeah, it's just this, these readings are going to stay like this. I feel like when it comes to children that have been mistreated, misused, their energy siphoned simply for money, for cash. It's just what the energy is. It's what's circulating right now. And there's a lot that's being exposed. And that's what the collective is doing. You're exposing this uh, horrible, horrible Jezebel again, Ice King. So, you know, behind every vile man, let's say, there's always a distorted feminine. That's just how I've always observed certain things. So when you see these cases of these, these horrible abuses against children, and there's a man there. There's always a, a woman that's just as equally vile as that man. So, yeah. Let's just close this energy out. This could even be a cloning facility. But you're doing what needs to be done. You're exposing this teaching and learning. Wow. So this teacher is indeed quite significant. I feel like you are this teacher in the light aspect so continue to share your wisdom your knowledge keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others so i was like when i said interplanetary because that's what this feels like here that could be something that i'm being guided to learn that you're being guided to learn when it comes to the different planets what's being taken out of the earth somewhere else to be repaired even and then brought back in so there's something going on major when it comes to those that are very much codependent on false light not really understanding that there is there are other options they don't have to be consumed by this black fly energy so yeah outdoors so you might want to take a walk today, get outside, fresh air, connect with nature, relieve some stress, gain new creative ideas, Archangel Jaffiel. So that's what I have collective. I'll see you guys soon in another video.